Jasmine here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and um, for this video um, I will be documenting um, this blanket start to finish so I will be crocheting the Cancer Hope blanket from a freak yarn um, as my aunt in Australia has been diagnosed with cancer and um, a freak yarn was selling this kit on their store um, for cancer and if you even if uh, you just purchase this kit for yourself um, there is a choice between the pink colorway for cancer or the bright color scheme and um, the funds um, for this kit do go to a cancer organization um, so yeah, when I received an email about the sale, I actually didn't even see it was on, on sale. I just saw the cancer blankets. So I made the purchase without the, with the, without the discount code, which is fine. Um, I, I only uh, paid, I think, 100 Rand extra or 200 Rand extra, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly. Um, so yeah, I bought this kit and... Um, as soon as I made the purchase, um, the I got the email for the pattern, and um, yeah, and I received my yarn today um, to make this cancer blanket. Um, so yeah, I really want to do um, something really nice for my my aunts in Australia. You can actually kind of see the picture there on the wall of them. Um, they moved to Australia, I think, in 2013, I think, around about there. Um, and my aunt is going through a really, really hard time, not just with chemo and cancer, but with personal things as well. Um, so it's really difficult for her. Um, so I thought of doing a nice, kind gesture to her, which is to crochet this Cancer Hope blanket. And um, I was thinking of... Um, when I'm finished with this blanket because she is coming down in May for my cousin's wedding in Johannesburg um, so my goal is to finish it by then and if I don't I'm gonna ship it to her I'm gonna get her address and I'm gonna ship it to her and I'm gonna put in extra treats so instead of just having the blanket I'm gonna maybe throw in some cream some nail polish um, I'm not sure what else yet maybe a few of my keychains that I've made um, like my ladybug keychain, maybe a sunflower keychain, maybe a heart. Um, I'm not sure yet. But that is just an idea that I have. Um, so yeah, as I said, I picked up the yarn today. Um, I've already started crocheting one square earlier on today. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to continue with the blankets. So as I said, um, I would also like to crochet a one square a day um at least one square a day um because if i'm not mistaken i do have the pattern drawn up here on my laptop um because i can't use my phone while talking to you guys um so i have where's this table here that i saw there it is so in total there is 5 times 16 balls of yarn. Um, and there is one, two, yeah, there's five colors and there's one neutral color, which I'll show you to you guys now. Um, so yeah, there's in total 80 squares that I need to make. So hopefully I'll be able to get it done in time. If not, again, I said I'll ship it off to her. So with regards to the yarn, um, as I said, I went and picked, picked up my yarn today. Sorry, my camera is going funny there. <laughs> um, so I went and picked the yarn today. They shipped with Pudo, Pudo Locker. Sorry, they shipped with Pudo Locker. So I went today to go and collect it. So um, these are the neutral shades. So I actually got uh, 4812. I got 13, 13 of these. And then as for the others... Um, let me just grab this here behind the camera. 
So this is the little one square that I have already made. Um, I just need to uh, crochet the white or the neutral border um, now for this one. Um, so yeah, it is a pretty basic pattern. It is a one, two, three, four, five. I think it's a nine round blanket. Oh, not blanket, a square. Um, if I can just check here quickly. So it's round. It's three rounds for the border, and it is seven rounds for the actual square. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it is seven rounds for the actual square, and then it is an additional three rounds for the border. <clears throat> yeah, so that is that one square that I've made so far. And this is the first ball of yarn that I started using. Um, so I'm just going to put that aside quickly. And I'm just going to grab the yarn. So the that I received. So in total I have... Um, I have 9 or 10, 10 of these skeins. So... Um, Two of them are the same colors, so we have pomegranate, we have two of pomegranate, and I'm just going to pull it up on my screen because it's just easier and quicker that way. So we got two bubblegum, which is, the, okay, this one's dusty pink. This one is dusty pink, so I'm assuming there's, oops, is this one bubblegum? Okay, so this one's bubblegum, this one is dusty pink. Okay, that one's dusty pink and then this one is called Ness pink okay so that's Ness pink and then this one should be candy floss yes okay this one's candy floss so there's two of each color and there's five of the contrasting colors um, so yeah those are the colors so you can purchase this kit off of a freak yarn um, they do ship internationally as well, so in case you're interested, if you're overseas, if you're not in South Africa, they do ship. I'm not sure what the shipping costs are for overseas. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, um, this is the yarn so far. Um, so yeah, as I said, I plan on crocheting one square a day um, and hopefully by the end of um, not by the end but by the end of April hopefully I should have finished um, this blanket so I can give it to her in person I'd really love to give it to her in person um, so yeah well let's continue crocheting these squares shall we So now that is my second square complete. Um, so yeah. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is um, I think I am going to now go off camera and complete as many squares as I can before I go to bed and then I'll update you with how many squares I have done in total. Um, so yeah, that is what the two squares look like. And um, also, um, in the pattern, it says that I need to use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, and the gauge is, um, the gauge was, uh, each square is 13 centimeters unblocked. But the thing is, if I go up a hook size, to a four then my stitches get really holy and it does not look nice um so i've literally tried to go up to a four to try and get my my gauge right and i just i can't so i'm just gonna stick with the three and a half millimeter crochet hook i really really hope it won't make that much of a difference um i mean obviously it would change like 
the end results of the finished size of the blanket um, but yeah I really hope that that by the end of this after I've blocked it maybe it will maybe I can stretch it out a little bit more um, but obviously not not too much um, but yeah I don't know I'll have to see how things go um, but yeah so those are the two squares done as I said I'm going to carry on crocheting more squares in the pomegranate color this is how much I've used so far um, so I should have enough let's see if I should have enough um, so yeah um, so yeah I will catch up with you um, later for the update okay guys um, I am back after uh, crocheting some more and um, I managed to do four squares in total so I did an extra two squares um, yeah, again sorry for the yellow light I can put it back to the off. Okay, that looks better <laughs> Yeah, I think I should just leave that, that lamp off because uh, yeah, it doesn't look so good, does it? Okay, anyway, so um, yeah, so I just did another two squares and um, I noticed that the more I'm crocheting with this yarn, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it. Um, I don't really crochet with cotton. Um, my main go-to yarn is acrylic. Um, so I don't crochet with, um, with cotton very often, um, so yeah, um, I've had to get used to it. So the first square that I made, um, is actually a lot tighter, um, if I can see which one it is, and, um, it's also like a lot smaller as well. Okay, it was this one. This one was my first one, and I think this one was the one that I did now. I don't know if you can tell, but one of them is like a bit smaller. You can kind of see there that this one is a bit smaller than that one. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, my tension is loosening up a bit, and um, yeah. So far so good. So as I said, I got four squares done. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stop for tonight. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop for tonight. It is now what's the time? Quarter past eleven at night. <laughs> so even though tomorrow is a holiday and I don't have college and stuff tomorrow, I still have quite a bit of work I need to do tomorrow. Um, I've got one activity I need to do for drawing and I need to work on my assignment for visual communication and um, yeah I think that's about it that I need to do tomorrow in terms of college work um, so yeah so I am gonna <laughs> sorry I don't know if you can hear my cat uh, he loves to moan to go back into my mum's room. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. You probably can. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, I'll be making, I'll be continuing on with, I'll be continuing on with these tomorrow. Um, so, it is late, as I said, it's quarter past 11 now. Um, and I'm gonna give this a break, I'm gonna go shower. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe you might consider crocheting again after I shower. I'm not sure. I have a shawl that I need to crochet for my cousin's wedding in May. I have this hooker crop top that I'm busy making. And I also have my cousin's scarves that I need to do as well at some point before the wedding. And I still need two more of the scarves that I need to do. Um... So yeah, I'm very busy. <laughs> I'm very, very busy. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna le leave leave it here for tonight, and I will continue on with these squares tomorrow. So yeah.
Bye for now, guys. I will catch you tomorrow. Hey, guys. Um, so, it is now the next day. It is the 21st of March. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys can hear me properly. I'm not speaking with my mic. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I really do hope you can hear me properly. Um, sorry about the horrible lighting. Um, but, yeah. So, it is now the next day, and um, I thought we could continue on with the cancer banquet, and um, yeah, I thought we could uh, carry, out, carry on with the cancer blanket. Um, I did four yesterday, um, so I would like to do at least maybe another four before I go to bed, so I've at least have got eight. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'll see how things go. Um, and I do also want to start my um, my cousin's next scarf that I need to do. So yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I know I do want to make these. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, I will be watching some, some YouTube videos um, just to play in the background. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna watch yet, but yeah. So let's get started. Hey guys, okay, so I am back after completing four squares in total for tonight. And um, I've laid out the squares here on my bed, so I now have uh, eight in total that I have done. And um, I noticed that. that after working my four squares tonight I noticed that my tension is a lot looser um yeah I noticed that it's a lot looser than what it was um yesterday when I first started the squares so um it's not that bad per se um so I don't know if you can tell so this one isn't like the one that I did yesterday and this was the one that I did today. Um, it also does like look a bit bigger so if I try and lay it on top of each other. Like you can kind of see the bottom like the underneath one um, sticking out at the bottom a little bit. Um, so yeah um uh, it does look like my stitches are like a little bit looser in this one in comparison to this one um i don't know if you can see that and it's also kind of like shorter as well was that just me okay so yeah it does still kind of look the same pretty much um but yeah i did notice that um that my tension on the squares that I made tonight are definitely a lot looser. Um, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem because I will be blocking them all. And um, yeah, I am nearly finished with the first pomegranate ball of yarn. Um, I literally have um, just a little bit left. Um, so I feel like I could get like maybe like another one or two squares out of this and um, that would be really great because my tension or my gauge is not what it should be per se. Um, so my squares are supposed to measure 13 centimeters which it does not. Um, I left my tape measure on my desk. But anyway, the last time I checked, which was yesterday, um, this was not even 13 centimeters. I think it was like 11 or 12, like just the square. So I'm not sure what I will do. Um, I think I'll just stretch all of them out to one number. So like maybe 12 or something. I'll stretch it out to like maybe 12. I'm not sure because I also don't want to stretch it out too much where I distort the square. Um, but yeah, that is the update 
for tonight which is Tuesday 21st of March 2023 um, so yeah I have made a square so far in a pomegranate color so that is all of them that I have made thus far yeah so off to a pretty good start if I do say so myself I have done eight and excuse me if I'm not mistaken I am supposed to get eight uh, eight squares out of each ball and uh, I'm doing pretty good so I could probably still get like another one or two squares out of this yarn which I'll be pretty happy about because then my blanket will meet the finished gauge if that makes any sense or maybe even a bit bigger but we'll see how it goes so yeah I'm really stoked about how many squares I got done already um, and I'm still far away I have 80 more no I have 80 squares and 60 or 80 now I can't remember I'm sure it was 80 yes it was 80 it was 80 it was 8 by 10 squares um so yeah I basically have 10 times the amount of bean squares that I need to do oh <laughs> uh, okay enough faffing about um so that is it for today um I will do another update with you tomorrow um, when I come back from college or in the, in the evening when I make some more squares. Okay. Bye for now, guys. Alright. Hi, guys. Um, it is um, the very next day, which is the 22nd of March, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, 22nd of March. And um, I completed another four squares tonight, so now I have a total of 12 squares. Um, yeah, I was actually very surprised because I did a total of nearly, nearly, nearly 11 squares with my first ball of yarn. This is now my second ball that I started and I literally used that much. Um, I have literally only used this ball to make one square um, and I used a little bit of this maybe like 20 to 30 centimeters maybe um, to finish off my other square like I was on the last round of pink I think I was in the middle of the second to last side that I needed to do um, to finish off the square so I was nearly nearly finished but I just ran out of pink um, so yeah I really do think that if I did not use a magic ring because um, I used a magic ring for one of the squares that I did yesterday I think it was and um, yeah, with the, the magic ring, I noticed that it takes up quite a bit of yarn um, to do the magic ring. Um, I think it was about like 20, 30 centimeters just in the magic ring, which is a lot of yarn. So yeah, I really think that if I did not do that magic ring, I would have had more than enough to finish off my third square for tonight. Um, but yeah, sadly I did not. And um, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to do the normal 16 amounts of squares um, that the blanket suggests, or um, well, the pattern suggests for the blanket. And um, I know that I'll have quite a bit of yarn left over, but I'd rather start off with 16 squares per colour. And then from there, if I have any yarn left over, um, I want to make sure that I have enough yarn left over from... The rest of the colors if it makes any sense so i do not want to maybe as make as many squares as i can with this and end up with let's say um let's say i don't know maybe 20 squares and i don't need 20 20 squares and then let's just say i make um and then let's just say that out of the next ball of yarn I only was able to make let's say 19 or 18 squares and then I'm left with like one or two that can't fit in the blanket 
So yeah, I'm thinking of just starting off with 16, seeing how I go with 16, and if I have more than enough yarn to make another square or two from each ball of yarn, then I'll make a further one or two squares off of each yarn. I mean, sorry, off of each colour. Um, so yeah, that is my thought process with regards to the blanket. Um, so yeah, we are doing really, really good progress at the moment. So, um, in just three days I have made 12 squares, so this is the pack that I have made so far. Um, so yeah, it's getting very, very big now. It's like, <laughs> it's getting really, really big. So yeah, I have 12. Um, if I literally didn't have assignments of a didn't study further with the degree then I would have uh, probably would be close to finishing this blanket by now or at least halfway um, I would probably have I don't know I'd say maybe like 30 squares done by now yeah so this is the update for today so yeah I'll check you tomorrow for the next update Bye for now. <laughs> there we go. Hi guys. Um, it is now the next day and it is the 23rd of March now. Um, and I have come back and I have done another four squares. Um, so yeah, another four squares. So now that is 16 squares in total now. Um, yeah, that is how much I have done in four days, I think it was. I think I got this yarn on Monday. Yeah, four days. Um, so yeah, this is how much I've gotten so far. I still have this much left of my pomegranate colour, so I could probably get maybe another two or three squares out of this um so yeah um i um, also forgot to bear in mind that um also can't really do more than 17 for instance maybe because i only also have um 13 13 balls of neutral so I also don't want to go too many of my squares and then I run out of neutral or natural natural yarn to um, to do the border so yeah I might just stick to 17 I'll see how it goes but yeah so tomorrow when I come home from college, um, I should be starting, um, I should be starting on the next colour. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do next, but I will inform you guys tomorrow of what colour I have chosen and how many squares I have done tomorrow. Um, I will be going to my boyfriend's house for the weekend. I may or may not record myself, I'm not sure yet. If I don't, I'll just come back on Sunday or Monday and I'll do an update of how many squares I crocheted that weekend. And um, yeah, I also have an order that I need to do for a crochet sleeve uh, sleeve warmer for my classmates. Um, she paid me today, so and she needs it by the 6th of March. Sorry, 6th of April. 6th of April, we are already in March. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'll still try my very best to at least do four squares a day because I feel like that is my my standard now. Um, yeah, because remember I said at the beginning of the video I wanted to do at least one, uh, at least one square a day, but I feel like I need to do at least four squares a day. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, that is it for today. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you either tomorrow um, and some course of the weekend or just on Sunday when I come back home. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, bye for now, guys. <laughs> bye. Okay, so hey guys. Um, it is Tuesday. Um, after the weekend. Um, it is. I believe it's the twenty sixth. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Friday's the thirty first. Thursday's the thirtieth. Wednesday's the 29th, yeah, so today's the 28th, <laughs> today's the 28th actually, yeah, so, um, I didn't get much squares done on the weekend, um, but I think it's still pretty good progress, um, so on Friday I had a lot of work to do after college, and, um, I went up to my boyfriend's house, as I mentioned, and um, I only managed to get one square done on Friday and then also again on Saturday I only got one square done as well um, as um, me and my boyfriend we were driving around and doing things on Saturday um, so I didn't get much done um, on Saturday um, but on uh, Sunday, my boyfriend needed to go. <laughs> my boyfriend needed to go and cut his uh, his lawn or his yard, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just dropped him. <laughs> and uh, I managed to get four done in the time that he was cutting the grass. Oh wait, sorry, I accidentally picked up a pomegranate color which you don't need right now so um i only did four on sunday and then um i know i said that i'm gonna do at least one square a day um but yeah on monday i just had so much work to do with college and i was really not on a good place on monday i was tired i was not feeling well i was just horrible <laughs> Um, so I didn't get any squares done on Monday, but tonight, um, I managed to get another four squares done. So I have done, in, I've done 10 in total. Um, so I've done 10 of these pomegranate squares in total. Not pomegranate, sorry, bubblegum squares. So this is the next colour, um, which is bubblegum. I don't know if I have the other bit um so this is the pomegranate yarn uh, i don't have the the pom i keep saying pomegranate this is the bubble gum um i don't have the other ball of pomegranate with me right now it's on my desk and i can't it's related to each other so this is the color difference this is the pomegranate this is the bubble gum um so yeah um, I'm going to have to say I um, did quite a bit of the next colour. Um, I do feel though that I will not get a lot of squares done this week and next week because it's presentation week for college, which means a lot of our big assignments are due in these two weeks. So, so yeah, I've got a lot of assignments coming up these next two weeks, so I don't think that I'll be doing a lot of squares. And if I'm not mistaken, we should be going on a one week holiday um, after the first term. Um, and then I'm sure after the next, the one week of holiday, we go back to college for the second term. If I'm not mistaken, but I don't know if things have changed because I did my high certificate last year and now I'm doing a degree. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that was a really, that was a really, really uh, big ramble on there. Um, but yeah, so these are all of the squares that I have done so far. So I only really need to do six more squares, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, six more squares. Um, so I only need to do six more squares of the bubblegum. And um, yeah, and this is the comparison <laughs> to the pomegranate and the bubblegum next to each other. So yeah, I only have six squares.
So I only have six more squares that I need to do. Let me hold this properly. Six more squares that I need to do with this colour. Okay, so that is it for tonight. I will update you again when I make um, some more squares. Bye for now, guys. Okay, so, um, hey guys, um, it is now the 29th of March, and it is, like, 10 o'clock, um, 25 to 11 at night, um, so yeah, I am very tired, um, I have been working on a lot. Even though I'm like top in class, well not top in class, but like I've got a majority of the assignments completed, I still have assignments to work on for next week. And my lecturer yesterday, I don't know if I mentioned, but my lecturer literally gave us three drawing activities to do this two next week Friday. Along with everything else. So. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's very late. I wanted to at least get one square done tonight, which I have. I got one square done and I started, oops, I started the next ball of bubblegum. So yeah, I didn't really use a lot because I used my last bit of the previous ball um, to do like the center circle. And I ran out, I think, on the second to last uh, round of the pink part of the square. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is it for tonight. I am not going to do any more at all. Because I am so tired. And it's also getting late. And I also need to work on pages, um, mesh, uh mesh sleeve warmer thing that she wants by the 6th of April so this is actually how far I've gotten with that I know this video is not for this but because I'm also working on this I decided to just show you guys so this is how far I have gotten so it's actually just like mesh so I've got just a front and a back panel um they're literally the same same size so yeah I wanna at least start the the sleeves because I just have a little more than a week. I have nine days. Um I have nine days left to do this. So yeah. Um so yeah, that's it for this update. Um did I say what day it is? It is Wednesday, the 29th of March. I don't, I don't think I said Wednesday, but anyway. So that is the up update for today. And uh, yeah, I'll update you again when I make my next square. Hey guys, so just a bit of an update on the, the cancer blanket. Um, apologies, I am very, very, very tired. Um, it's just been very, very busy with college and assignments and everything like that. So I haven't had much time to do my squares. Um, but yeah, the last time I updated you guys, I think I had five or six more squares I needed to do. I think it was five. Six. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, so I think it was on the Tuesday that I was off. Okay, so the day that I'm filming this, this is, um, Sun, sorry, Monday, the, what's today's date? Uh, Monday the 10th of April. Okay, Monday 10th of April. Um, okay, so on Tuesday, I'm not sure what the date was last week, Tuesday, but on Tuesday, I think I managed to get one square done, and then on and then i think on thursday i got another square done and then over the weekend that just passed um i managed to get two of these squares done i think it was on sunday on sunday i crocheted two of these squares um so yeah that was sunday so 
uh, finally finished all 16 of the bubblegum color. So we have the pomegranate and bubblegum color that is now complete. And um, I started with the... That's how big my pile is now. <laughs> um, so I did start with the next color. And um, the next color is candy floss. So this is what it looks like. And I did two squares of candy floss um, over the weekend. Um, so in total over the weekend I did four squares. Two of the new colour and two of the old colours, or the colour that I was working with. And this is how much yarn I have left after working um, the remaining squares for... This was the bubblegum one. Um, so yeah, and just a comparison. Let me just grab these squares quickly. Just for a comparison. Uh, this is bubblegum and this is candy floss. Bubblegum and candy floss. It does kind of look the same, but this one is kind of darker. And um, let's pull out the pomegranate one as well. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put them in the order that I started with. Okay, hopefully I can get this right. Yeah, so this is pomegranate. This is the color that I started with. Then it was candy floss. Sorry, then it was bubblegum. Bubblegum and then candy floss. So I don't know if you can see the differences. Yeah, so pomegranate, bubblegum, candy floss. Okay. And, um... I'm actually getting a blocking board made um, by this guy on the bluff near where I stay um, so that I can block all of these squares because I am not prepared to sit and pin down I uh, can't remember how many squares there is but pin down 16 times 5 squares I am seriously seriously not prepared to pin each individual square down so I'm just going to get a blocking board made and yeah so hopefully that will be finished um hopefully I'll have that in a few weeks maybe two or three weeks maybe I don't know um yeah those are all of the squares that I've made so far so I just thought I'd update you um so yeah that's it for this update. I'll catch back up with you when I work on more squares. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. Okay, hey guys. So it is still Monday, the 10th of April. Um, the same day that I did the previous recording. Um, I just did three extra squares tonight. So this is how many I've done is just three squares. Three squares um so yeah i have done three squares tonight so i have done a total of five squares in this candy floss color um so yeah that is it for today's update i will update you again when i make more squares and um yeah hey guys so it is now Tuesday the 11th of April yeah 11th of April and it is like 10 o'clock at night now no half past nine okay half past nine I thought I was gonna get, get, get done with these four squares at like 10 o'clock anyway I'm glad it's only half past 10 because I still need to shower and get into bed but anyway so for today I have made four squares I got home at about five and I think at about uh, I think maybe at about six ish or half past six. Um I started with 
last squares and then I had dinner at like between 7 and 8 and then at like 9 o'clock or no quarter past 8 or half past 8 I think it was about half past 8 um, I finished crocheting the remaining two squares from like half past, half past 8 or so around about there I don't know um, but anyway, so that is the update for today. I have done four squares in total for today, and in total, um, I have done four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have done nine of these, um, candy floss squares in total. I've done nine. So, I still have... Six, seven more to do I think seven <laughs> my math is off but anyway I think I have like seven more to do um so yeah that is of the candy floss no yeah candy floss color um so yeah we are still going good and it is the second week of April so I have three weeks left to finish this blanket and I'm pretty sure I'll get it done in time because next week I'm off on holiday for a whole week um so yeah I really really hope that uh, I really hope that I will <laughs> I should have it all done by next well not next week but next week I should get majority of the blanket done because I will be on holiday for a week um so yeah I'm really planning on focusing on this blanket like full steam ahead and also my two scarf orders that I have to do. Um, this is the one that I started and didn't finish. So I'll be working on that and hopefully starting the next scarf as well next week. I still have another elephant that I need to make next week. It's part of an order. Um, so yeah, toys in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, tomorrow when I go to college for this project A1 we literally did like majority of like the day we basically did nothing and we just watched like teams meetings and stuff about our project and it was basically pointless everyone was like literally not doing any work like it was quite boring I must say so I'm gonna take my crocheting with me and um I will hopefully get some squares done tomorrow at college and i'll update you um i'll update you guys um by the end of tomorrow night so wednesday night <laughs> so well, that's it for now guys um so yeah check you for tomorrow's update hey guys um so i'm back it is now the 13th of april it is a thursday um so yesterday um i forgot to do an update when i came back from college i was just so tired and just like so out of it i didn't even think of it and um yeah i even went to bed early it was because i was that tired um but yeah anyway so yesterday's update um at college i managed to get seven squares done which is pretty cool that's pretty pretty good so i actually finished I'm so happy. I actually finished the third color, which is bubblegum. No, candy floss. Candy floss. It's candy floss. I keep getting confused with all of these shades of pink. Um, so yeah, it's candy floss. So I'm so happy. I literally managed to do all seven while I was at college. So I was like pretty happy with that because like literally... When you're doing this project A1, like we had presentations from like 8 till maybe like 12 or half past 12 or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I was pretty stoked that I got 7 done and I finished. Uh, I finished. Um, I finished Candy Floss. So I'm like really chuffed and happy about that. Which means I only have uh, two colours left. Um, which I have already started. So today in class, um, I managed to get three squares done. This is the color Dusty Pink. I think it's Dusty Pink. Yeah, Dusty Pink. It's Dusty Pink. So it is 
Um, I managed to do, as I said, three colours today in class. Not three colours, I did three squares of dusty pink in class. Then I came home, worked on my little presentation thing or whatever for my group project. And I managed to complete another five. So in total, I have completed eight squares today. I've completed eight squares of the dusty pink, which is not bad for for just uh, for like just starting dusty pink. It is really not bad, and um, yeah, I guess I had the time to do it today and yesterday, so I'm I'm pretty chuffed and happy about that. So now I really really have twenty four squares to make, and I'm really really super stoked about that. I'm really excited to just like be finished with this blanket and just block everything and sew everything together i'm really really excited for the end results and i'm really thinking of putting fabric behind my squares just so that it is extra warm um because yeah cotton is not very warm at all um it doesn't hold heat at all so i'm really wondering if i should sew some some fabric to the back maybe fleece or something i'm not quite sure yet um, but I really do want to make it warm, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy and excited about this blanket, um, I really can't wait to see my, my aunt's reaction, so, so yeah, my family, besides my primary family, um, my other family don't know that I'm doing this, so it's pretty much a surprise, I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video or not, um, yeah, so I'm really happy and I need to speak to Billy who is making my my blocking board. I haven't heard from him the whole week. So tomorrow I will message him and find out what's happening with my blocking board and if I can possibly <laughs> have it a week before um like before the end of the month, which is like next week. <laughs> Don't know if it's possible, but anyway. Um I've initially said I wanted it by the end of the month. Um but yeah, I kind of realised that I'm finishing my squares much sooner than I, than I anticipated. Which is pretty good. But I literally can't sew up the, the blanket unless my squares are blocked. So that's that's where the blocking board comes into play. Um, but yeah, enough rambling on. Um, that is the update for today, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll update you some more tomorrow. Okay, uh, hi guys. So it is... Friday, uh, 15th of April, um, so I'm now officially on holiday, um, so yeah, I'm so grateful and thankful for that, it's only a one week holiday, but I'm glad, very, very happy, because I've got a lot of crochet stuff I need to do, and, um, yeah, so, for today, um, I have completed a total of eight squares. So I completed a total of eight squares tonight. Um, I kind of had the whole day to do it, but I was kind of having a bit of a relaxed day since today was kind of my last day of college, even though I didn't go into college. Um, I it was like an online thing and then we had to submit online and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry if I'm talking a bit softly. Um, my mum and everyone has gone to bed. Well, my mum's gone to bed. Um, so yeah, apologies if you can't hear me properly, but uh, yeah, my mum's gone to bed. So yeah, um, that is now all of the blush squares completed now. Not the blush, the dusty pink. So yeah, all of the dusty pink is now completed. So that's four out of five colours. So I literally have one more colour that I need to do, which is Ness Pink. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And um, yeah. Okay guys, it is now the next day. It is Saturday, the 15th of April. And um, I was home today, so... Um, <clears throat> I didn't go out and do anything today, so 
I managed to get eight squares done of the nest pink, which is the final color. I'm so happy and so excited about that. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I'm really excited and stoked about this. Um, Billy should be getting started with my blocking board on Monday, if I'm not mistaken, and hopefully by the middle of the week or by the end of the week, I should have my blocking board. Um, so I can block these squares. I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, I have done eight squares and tomorrow is Sunday. So I'm really hoping that I can get another eight squares done. And um, yeah, so yeah, now I'm going to record the tutorial for the Starry Natural. I'm so excited for how this is going to come out. I really, really am so excited. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's update. And yeah, I'll update you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Monday the 17th of April, um, so yeah, um, I crocheted um, four squares today and um, I have four more squares to go and then I'm finished with all of my squares for the blanket. I am so excited, you have no idea how excited I am for this blanket to be finished. Um, yeah, Billy, I paid Billy um, the material cost to make my blocking board. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, and um, he said he's going to get started on it tomorrow, and I should have it by the end of the week. I'm so excited for my blocking board, and I'm just so excited to start wrapping up this blanket. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait for my aunt to see it, and to see her reaction and everything like that. I'm so excited. Um, while I was out with my mum, trying to find her a dress for the wedding, um, went to go and look for some fabric um because uh making up her dress was also an option and um i decided to buy the fabric for the blanket oh yes it is so beautiful it's so beautiful and it's so soft so this is like um i think it's like flannel material or fleece material um i can't remember exactly the name of the material i think it's fleece I think it's fleece but it's like really really soft and it's like oh I think it's gonna be so nice and warm so I'm really really excited about this um I really hope my aunt will like it so yeah I'm gonna sew the fabric to the back of the dress and not back to back of the dress what am I talking about I'm gonna sew the fabric onto the back of the blanket the blanket okay not the dress the blanket um so yeah, I am so super, super excited about it. I literally cannot wait. <laughs> I am so excited. So um, when I do sew the the blanket um, or the fabric onto the back of the blanket, I will show you that process as well. Um, so yeah, I am pretty, pretty excited for it. I really, really am. Um, but yeah, that is the update for today. And Tomorrow I should finish up the last four squares of this blanket and then all of my squares will be done. <laughs> so excited. Um, but yeah, that is it for the updates and I'll update you again tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, so just a bit of an update. Um, excuse my, my, little, yeah, my, my yellow lamp. I forgot to turn it off. So yeah, apologies for looking a little bit off color but anyway um so I, 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 I just finished I okay, get which one hold on with me a second pomegranate candy floss uh bubblegum candy floss okay was this one this one okay so today I completed the last four squares of nest pink um, which is this one here so now I have completely finished nest pink and I've completely finished all five colors of my squares so all of my squares sorry all of my square, squares <laughs> squares I have now finished I'm so happy I'm so excited about it oh my gosh I can't wait for this blanket to be finished and I can't wait for my on to see it and everything like that. I'm like super excited. Um, but yeah, anywho, um, sorry, my light 
is irritating me. Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, now I want to show you one of the colors that I'm done in. Okay, so these are all the colors. Aren't they just pretty? So this is pomegranate. This uh, this was the first color that I started with. So it's pomegranate, then it's bubblegum, candy floss, dusty pink, and then nest pink. Aren't they just so beautiful? Aren't they just gorgeous? Okay, we need to actually black put these closer together so you can actually really see the contrast in these beautiful colors. There we go. Aren't they just gorgeous? Like, look at those beautiful colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. So now, just imagine this nice blue fabric. Not blue, what am I talking about? Um, this nice pink fabric underneath these squares. So, like, let's just put, like, a few of them on here. It's like a little test run kind of vibe so we can put one here so we got candy floss and uh, dusty pink then we have pomegranate this side and now he's putting random colors together here well not random but yeah in here doesn't that just look so cute isn't it weird i don't know if you can tell on camera um, but this, this one here, for some odd reason, the, the border, the border of this one is a lot more whiter. So all of the pomegranate ones, um, the borders seem to be a lot more whiter and cleaner than all of the other squares. I'm not sure why that is, um, because all of the natural yarn um, or the natural shade or the white that I'm using for the borders. Um, it's it's the same lot number and code and everything. So I don't know why the first set of squares come out like really, really white. Um, but yeah, so that's what it will look like behind the squares with the blanket. Not the blanket, but like this fleece flannel material. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's fleece. But yeah, isn't that just gorgeous? Ooh, I can't wait for this to be blocked and I can start sewing this together. So, yeah. actually here at my boyfriend's house in Kloof and it is very cold up here and it is also heading into winter so in Kloof it gets very very cold um so yeah I'm dressed all warm today I have like nice long jeans on and I have this nice beautiful poncho and underneath that I have this nice like long sleeve button up shirt um so yeah I'm, I'm very warm now <laughs> um but yeah, so a bit of an update. Today is Saturday the... what's the date today? Today is Saturday the 22nd of April. And um, I got my blocking board yesterday on Friday. So the 21st of April was when I got my blocking board back from Billy. And I honestly love how it looks. Uh, actually last night I actually already started to block, um, to block some of my squares before I went to bed. I managed to get uh, 16, 32 squares blocked, so two colors blocked, which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about. Um, so yeah, I got two of them blocked, and now I suppose what's all, 
all that's left to do is just take them off the blocking boards and see see the results so yeah i'm really happy with how the blocking board came out um billy did a really really good job i'm really happy with how how it all came out Yeah, so here we go. Here is the first set of squares that have been blocked. So you can kind of see, this is kind of what I was not wanting to happen. So um, these stainless steel dowels that um, that Billy had cut for me, they are two moulds in diameter, um, which I thought would be small enough. Um, because I didn't want these dowels to be too big where it stretches the stitches and that's exactly that what has happened. Um, but I think it's just because, um, maybe the side of the two sides of the squares weren't stretched enough. Um, so you see, I don't know if you can see there, you can see, um, in that stitch and in this stitch is where the two pins were. And on this other side, you can also see where those two pins were. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Um, but overall, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, that the stitches will relax um, after it's been taken off and um, it won't be such a big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so these are the squares. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got quite a bit done. I could have blocked all, um, all five of the colours at one go because I still have quite a lot of, um, uh, space on the stainless steel, um, uh, pegs or whatever you'd like to call it. So yeah, I still have quite a bit of space, so I could definitely block more. I'll actually turn the camera around. See, so here is like a very bad, bad square. But I'm sure after it has like relaxed a bit, I'm sure like, I'm sure that it will go back. I suppose, I hope. Um, so yeah, I'll just turn the camera around now and I'll show you what the blocking board looks like. Okay, so this is the blocking board. This is what it looks like. I took these two pins out here because um, I noticed that uh, when I was taking these this set of granny squares off, um, that the pin was actually caught on the stitches. Um, so I just took those out so I can take the granny squares out. But yeah, you can kind of see that with these bottom ones, you can see how much space is left on these stainless steel dowels. Um, that's uh, that I can block pretty much all of my squares. Um, so yeah, I am pretty, pretty excited and happy with how this has come out. Um, so yeah, Billy made a little stand for me for this to uh, stand on. Or to rest on, I should say. So yeah, these are the squares. Yeah, I can kind of see how the, the stitches have poked out. But I think that's just because it wasn't really maybe stretched properly. Like, I don't know. Because you see these, the side is still like kind of concaved in. Gave in and it was meant to be like straight edges so maybe I should have actually put um dowels in these stitches here so so it can push out the edge of the squares but overall um I am happy with uh, with the way this has come out so yeah um Billy actually had cut 50 of these stainless steel rods um, I initially asked him for 30, but then I realized that um, I need quite an amount of 
of the rods if I'm blocking like you see here I don't just have stainless steel rods in the corners but also um, in the sides of the, the squares if it makes any sense um, so yeah um, this is how the board came out just want to take all of these squares off before I block more I know it's probably easier to just pull the pins out but there we go isn't that nice and cool so yeah those are all the sets that I have blocked so far yeah so this is what the blocking board looks like without the squares attached so let me just turn this around that is what the back of it look like looks like with the stand so yeah if it wasn't on my bed this would be sitting well if it wasn't on my boyfriend's bed um <laughs> this would be sitting like much better but because um i'm sitting on the bed it is like kind of like top heavy if that makes any sense i just kind of want to it just keeps like wanting to like fall over and shame uh billy he accidentally forgot to drill one hole here um but it's fun it's not a train smash um yeah i'm not gonna die without that one hole and um if i ever need that hole i could maybe always drill it i do have a drill press at home um, my dad's drill press and i can always just go get a 2.2 uh, um, drill bit for wood or whatever um, so yeah just that one one little hole is missing um, but it's fine but overall I really love how this has come out so this blocking board is made out of pine wood and it is very very beautiful it was varnished and um, it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, I really, really love how this has turned out. Okay. Hey guys, so it is Monday, the 24th of April. And um, I had finished blocking my squares over the weekend. And um, so now I am ready to lay everything out the way it needs to be. And to join all of the squares together. I am so excited. I have really started laying some of the squares down. Um, just to give me a bit of a head start when I get back home from college this week um, or today. Um, so yeah, let's carry on with the squares, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to lay these squares out again because I kind of messed up somewhere somehow the last time that I did this. Um, I messed up somewhere on the top. I don't know, I shopped some blocks around without knowing it. And yeah, I kind of messed up the whole layout really, so... I'm going to do it again. This is what it looks like. It is like quite big. I hope I'm getting it all in frame here. But it's like really, really big. I mean, it's not too big. It is like quite a decent size for like a lap blanket, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it is 8 by 10 blocks. So 80 blocks in total. So yeah, it's quite a bit. So yeah, now I need to start joining all of these together 
and join the pattern it recommends to join all of the horizontal um, sections together first and then join the vertical or vice versa and um, yeah they also said that it's best to join and end on the, in the same way so if I started the side and I joined my yarn here ended off there then it must be in the same sequence all across so yeah now it's time to sew all of this together I was actually not sewing it's slip stitching it all together um but yeah so I'm gonna clear out my pillows at the back there and just leave my normal like back back pillow that I sleep with um I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna try and join all of these squares um so yeah missions but yeah, I'm going to take a picture of this now so I can just remember it if and when I do need to like maybe pack this away. But I hope not. I'm going to try and at least seam all the horizontal or vertical sections today or tonight so that um, it'll all be joined in order. So yeah, let's do that now. So now, uh, this is what it looks like now after doing uh, three, three sets, three rows. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so I am just going to continue in this way um, until I have all of the horizontal parts of the blankets um all joined together okay guys so i have finished seaming up the whole blanket now so this is what it looks like 
Isn't it just gorgeous? Just look at it. Isn't it just beautiful? So that is what the seams look like. So it's just a slip stitch seam, basically. Isn't it just such a beautiful blanket? Oh my gosh, I literally can't wait till my aunt sees this. She's gonna be so stoked. So yeah. That is the blanket. I am so super stoked with how this has turned out. Um, I still need to obviously um, do the border. And um, yeah, I still need to block this blanket as is. Um, so yeah, I still need to. I still need to um, crochet the border, and then I need to block it again, making sure that it is nice and straight and it is to the right measurements, and. Um, yeah, and then, <laughs> and then I can sew the fabric onto the back. I am so super excited about the fabric. Um, I really, really am. I'm thinking of overlocking the edges first. And then, I don't know, I may sew the fabric to the back of the blanket with, um, with the overlocking stitches visible. Or I may, or I may fold in the seam allowance and um, sew around the edge but I don't know I'll see but uh, I'm really really super excited about this blanket it is absolutely beautiful and I literally can't wait to see the look on my aunt's face um, I think she's just gonna be so blown away and I really hope she'll give me permission to record her because I really would love to record her reaction and I really would love to just share it with the rest of the world so people can see um, how doing something like this for someone who has cancer and is going through a really hard time, how it could make an impact or make a difference, you know. Um, So yeah, the blanket is really, really beautiful and I'm so happy with the way that it's come out so far. Um, so yeah, I will update you again when I'm ready to do the border, which will be tomorrow because now it is like half past nine and I still need to go shower and everything. And I actually wanted to, um, I actually needed to read over my brief for um, my assignment that's due on Friday. We have this week to... Uh, we have this week to learn a new software and then with that new software that we're learning we have we have to do this like assignment thing based off of um based off the software um so yeah i'm really really just oh, i'm just so busy and um i also have my classmates bandana that i'm working on i think i've only done five squares and i think there is like uh, I think there's like 14 squares and then like six triangles or something like that to form the the straight side of the bandana. So yeah, I still need to do that and my classmate wants it by this Friday, which is when my assignment is due. And um yeah, so I'm just I'm really just trying to juggle everything all at once. Um but yeah, I'm really super excited about how um about how this blanket has coming together um but yeah so i'll update you tomorrow um when i am ready to do the border it is 26th of april the wednesday um well, a wednesday so it's exactly a week today that we will be going up to johannesburg um so yeah I have now finished the border and this has been the second day that I worked on the border. Um, last night I tried to work on the border 
and I wanted to finish it but because I was so tired and because it was so late um, I could not finish the Pico border um, but yeah I managed to finish um, all of I managed to finish it all tonight now so the the blanket is basically done all of the crochet work is basically done okay so this is the Pico border so I did three rows of a border so two rows single crochet and then a pico border and in the corners um in the corners i did um in the corners i did five single crochets sorry i'm looking at the wrong corner here there you go i did five single crochets and then five single crochets in the third single crochet and then i've just followed the pico border around the edge so yeah that's basically what it looks like um so yeah that is the border so yeah okay yeah, so hey guys um i am now in my mom's room and i am ready to block this baby so it is actually thursday the next day now this is thursday the the 27th yes the 27th it is thursday the 27th now <clears throat> so yeah i'm in my mom's room because it's the biggest room in the house let's get into blocking this blanket pretty stoked and pretty happy with how it looks and um yeah so now the only thing that's left to do now is just to let it dry and then uh, then yeah i just gotta let it dry and then hopefully tomorrow when i come back from college i can sew the fabric onto the back i am really really super excited about it so yeah almost there and then you know, over the weekend, I need to get some uh, some extra treats and things for my aunts. And I need to crochet a little butterfly keychain that has hope and and a cross on it and things like that. So yeah, I'm really super excited for the end result. And uh, but yeah, that's it for today. And yeah, check you out tomorrow or when I do the the fabric. So yeah, bye for now. So it is now Friday the 28th of um, the 28th of April now and um, yeah so I'm in my mom's room now again and I'm ready to take the I'm ready to take the what's this thing you call this thing called now the blanket off the blocking mats and um, so yeah let's do that now finished blocking um i will now start um putting um start sewing the fabric onto the back which i'm like really excited about so yeah okay so i'm gonna stop myself right there um because uh yeah the fabric kind of failed so yeah how fun um i had overlocked it well i cut the fabric slightly bigger than the blanket overlocked it still slightly too big overlocked it again and some sections are smaller some other sections are bigger so i don't know what the hell happened but yeah basically 
I could not attach the fabric onto the blanket, so I scrapped that idea as much as it irritated the crap out of me that I could not put the fabric on and I really, really wanted to. It just, it really bothered me. But anyways, I am moving forward now. So yeah, I am leaving the blanket as it is. So this is the final outcome of the blanket. This is the back, obviously. But yeah, it is quite a big blankie, as I'm sure you have seen already. But yeah, it is a big, big blankie. And um, yeah, actually, I forgot to mention that today is actually the night before us going up to Johannesburg. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, it's Tuesday night, the 3rd of April. Is it? Is it the 3rd? 2nd of May. Yeah, so it's the 2nd of May. We're going up on the 3rd. So, yeah, that is the blanket done. <clears throat> I managed to get a box today, so I let her branding on. Um, so I tried to spray paint it, but then the, the paint ran out, so I just had to use my normal acrylic paint and, yeah, paint the rest of the box. But anyways, so the other treats and gifts that I got for my aunts, um, is this nice, beautiful scented candle. This is from Mr. Price, and, um, the smell or the fragrance is called Blossom. It's back to front when you're reading it, but it smells really, really, really divine. It smells like roses, like some beautiful flowers. And then this beautiful hand cream. This smells also really, really beautiful. Um, it is pepper tree, milk and honey, hand and nail cream. Vitamin E and shea butter. And it's a little 50ml little tube of body lotion. No, sorry, body lotion. A hand lotion. And um, yeah, it's again, like really smells like beautiful flowers. And it's just, it's amazing. So I'm going to put that in. And then I also crocheted a little butterfly keychain. Um, this tutorial is actually from Bella Coco. Um, I didn't mean to use their nose ring. And I also um, attached two uh, little charms. Let me see if I can get these nicely. So two little charms. Come on camera, focus. 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 Okay, it's not focusing. But anyway, it is basically a little hope, um, a little hope uh, ribbon. And then a cross. Cross. There. Cross. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little butterfly keychain for her. Um, so yeah, it's quite cute, a little butterfly keychain. So as I said, this pattern is from Bella Coco um on here on youtube and yeah and then the last thing that i bought for her my mom is putting in um a little gift set that has like cream and shower gel and i still want to get lavender I, I was not able to get lavender yet but hopefully on my trip somewhere i can stop and get flowers maybe before we come down on saturday um but yeah but then i also got this book it's called mini devotions for women by caroline larson so it is many devotions for women. It is a gift of hope and joy. The 180 shortest inspirational devotions will encourage every woman to treasure the assurance of God's unfailing love. So that is the book. So it has um it has like little what would you call that? Like little prayers almost. Um so yeah, I thought you'd really, really like this. And um yeah, so that's another thing for her. And um yeah. I'll give you another little update when I'm actually packaging this stuff. For now, my box is busy drying over there. Um, so yeah, but for now, that is it for the updates. And uh, yeah, check you guys for the next update. Hey guys, so I am back um, from Johannesburg um, after the wedding. So it is actually Saturday now that I'm recording this. And um, yeah, so now it is time to package everything. And uh, yeah, what do you think of my nice cute little little stitch uh like hat beanie thing so there's like little like um what would you call that kind of like buttons at the bottom here that you press and then the ear goes up isn't it cute and then this thing also lights up so it has like a little little light switch in here 
and it's like solid. Yeah. So yeah, both of them have laughs. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I've seen these on TikTok before and like I wanted to have it, but I was like, oh, it's pointless. And then when I saw it up in Johannesburg, I was like, I need to get it. Yee! Isn't it cute? So it's a nice, cute little stitch hat. Um, so yeah, it's very sweet. I bought it at like a kind of like a China market kind of thing. It's quite cool. They had like lots of plushies and plushy slippers and things like that. It was very, very cute. So yeah, I got this and my boyfriend, well, I got. Um, Monsters Inc. slippers for my mother-in-law because uh, she battles with her feet so I got these for her they're like really big and fluffy they're like so cute <laughs> so yeah anyways let's get on with packaging all of this stuff yeah okay so this is everything that I managed to get for my aunt so of course we have the blankets then we have this uh, body lotion and body wash gift set that my mom put in and then this is the mini devotions for women we have the hand cream the keychain the candle and then while I was at the wedding um, funny enough at the wedding venue they had um, lavender growing there around the venue so um, I took advantage of that and <laughs> and I picked some lavender for my aunt so yeah, now it's time to put everything into the box. Yeah, so let's do that now. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so it is literally right after I have given my aunt the blankets. Um, so yeah, she was very, very happy with the blanket as you can see by her reaction and I'm honestly so glad, I'm so grateful that I managed to do this blanket for her and to give her a nice gift. Um, she's really been through a really, really hard time. So it was just so beautiful just to see her expression and just to see her face light up. Um, it's, it's, it's just so amazing really. Um, sure. I'm so glad that she loves it and um, yeah she'll be taking it home with her and she'll be taking it back to Australia which I'm so happy and excited about I'm so glad I managed to finish the blanket and um, yeah I'll never forget this moment it was a very very beautiful moment to just give the blanket to her and to see her reaction um, but yeah that is it for today's video um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you can also give back to the cancer community by doing things like this um it would really help people in need um or you can buy the the kit from a freak yarn and gift it to someone who has cancer that will just go a long way and also the funds from the buying the kits also go to a cancer organization um so yeah, overall i'm just so happy with the outcome and the end result and um yeah that is it for today's video guys um i hope you enjoyed watching and um hope you enjoyed watching my aunt's reaction and um yeah thank you guys for watching and um happy crocheting <laughs> bye guys <laughs> Bye guys!